Hi, I'm Lisa Bloom and I'm a story coach. Once upon a time, before the creation of man, God gathered together all the human qualities and feelings, the virtues and vices, and put them on a certain place on earth and told them to await the creation of man. Time passed, and when boredom had yawned for the third time, madness, mad as always, said, I know, let's play hide and seek. Curiosity, unable to hold back, said, what is it? Is it a game? How do we play? And madness said, yeah, it's easy. I'll count to say one million, and while I'm counting, you all hide. When I finish counting, I'll look for you, and whoever I find will help me look for the others. Fantastic, wonderful, cried enthusiasm, euphoria and excitement. They were so happy that even dead was persuaded. But not everyone wanted to play. Truth said, what's the point? I'll be found out in the end. And arrogance decided it was childish and silly, but really she was just upset that she hadn't thought of it herself. And so the game began. One, two, three, madness began to count. Tenderness hung on the horn of the moon. Lie said he would hide at the bottom of a lake, but he lied and hid behind a rainbow. Faith rose up to heaven, and envy hid in the shadow of triumph, who by his own strength reached the crown of the tallest tree. Generosity almost didn't find a place to hide, for everywhere she looked seemed so much more suited to one of her friends, a crystal lake the perfect place for beauty, a crack in a branch ideal for shyness, a gust of wind fabulous for, for liberty. In the end she hid in a sunray. Egotism, on the other hand, found the perfect place at the beginning of the game. It was cosy, ventilated and had only room for one. And passion and desire hid in the heart of a volcano. When madness reached 999,999, only love still didn't have a place to hide. It should come as no surprise, for we all know how difficult it is to hide love. She was so distracted until, overcome by its beauty, the beauty of a rose bush, she hid in its blossoms. One million, cried madness, I'm coming to find you. And as he turned around, he saw laziness fallen to the ground with no energy to find a place to hide and after that doubt sitting on a fence because he couldn't decide where to go. And then faith was heard discussing theology with God and one by one they were all found. Passion and desire were discovered because they made the volcano erupt. Lie was behind the rainbow still lying that he was at the bottom of a lake and fear was in a dark cave. Only love could not be found. Madness searched and searched. He looked everywhere and was about to give up when desperation said he'd never find her. And then Envy, who was envious of love, said, Madness, she's in the rose bush. Madness, so excited to have finally found her, grabbed a pitchfork and stabbed at the rose bush and stabbed and stabbed until finally a heartbreaking shout was heard. And after that, love appeared with her hands covering her face and between her fingers trickled threads of blood red red as the roses madness so anxious to find love had taken out her eyes with the pitchfork what have i done what have i done madness cried and begged for her forgiveness with all the commotion god returned to that place and saw what had happened what can i do madness cried how can i fix this and god said you cannot restore sight to her eyes, but you can stay beside her as her guide. And so it is from that day until now, love is blind and always accompanied by madness. <laughs>